This summer we're going to upgrade all of our computers to Windows 10. And when you log into Windows 10, it's going to look familiar. You're going to see icons uh, still on the desktop. You can pin things to the taskbar. There is a new browser from Microsoft called the Edge browser, although we still have Internet Explorer. You also see a box uh, called Cortana. This is where you can uh, search either by typing or talking into this box. It'll find whatever it is you're searching for. Uh, the start button is still on the bottom left hand corner. You can also uh, activate the start button by clicking on the Windows key on your keyboard. Either one of those will open the new start uh, menu. You'll notice that there are tiles uh, and you can pin these to the start menu just like you did in Windows 7. And on the left are other programs on your computer. If you don't see a particular program, click the All Apps uh, link at the bottom and it will show you an alphabetical listing of every program that's installed on your computer. And if, if there's something you want to use a lot, you can pin it either to the taskbar or to the start menu, just like you could in Windows 7. You can also use the Windows X shortcut to get to this utility menu. It's very handy. It has just about everything, although they don't have an easy way to get to the list of printers that you have. I don't know why they took this out, but you can still get to it by clicking on Control Panel. And in the Control Panel, you can see Devices and Printers. This will bring up the box uh, just like it did in Windows 7. Or if you want to, from the Start menu, you can just type the word Print, and it will find Devices and Printers just like before. So this is a quick overview of Windows 10. You'll find most things work exactly the same. The interface is a little bit different. I will have all of your computers re-imaged by the middle of June, and you can pick them up and have the rest of the summer to play around with Windows 10.